can survive for weeks without food, but only days without water. But how do you know that the water supply is safe to drink? After a natural disaster, in an emergency, or even every day when you can't trust your local government to do their job? Well, you could use a Testbert water test kit, and we're going to check it out on this episode of Moondog R&D. Hey, Moondog here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, usually I'll review gadgets, you know, like kitchen or photo or video gear. Well, this is not an electronic gadget. These are water test strips. And you may be wondering, like, why am I reviewing that on this channel? Well, one of the things I do focus on on this channel are survival and emergency gear, you know, EDC flashlights and whatnot. Well, this is a really important emergency piece of kit. These are water test strips because if there's any sort of natural disaster or emergency, the most important resource you can have is water, safe drinking water. And if your water is compromised in any way, well, how would you know? So these are test strips that allow you to test for metals, chemicals, and even bacteria. And we're going to test them out on this episode of Moondog R&D. The kit comes with 19 individual test strip kits along with a plastic pipette and in my case a broken plastic test tube. So be sure to check your package when it arrives. Mine was shipped from Amazon in a plastic pouch and obviously not enough packing material. I don't have the time nor the expertise to test out each of these test kits, especially the heavy metal ones, but we can test two of them to see how sensitive they are. Let's start with the ammonia test. Okay, we are going to start this test of these test strips using our ammonia and nitrogen test strip setup, and this was designed, I believe, for aquariums to test the ammonia level and the nitrogen level in um, nitrates in the water because, you know, those fish, well, metabolize, uh, you know, live in the water. They expel um, ammonia and nitrates just like we do uh, when we pee. So I'm going to be using this test strip here. And this is one of the test strips that comes inside. It comes with five of them. And I'm going to be testing to see if we can detect any urine in, in a water supply because we want to see if uh, you know our water supplies get contaminated in a survival situation. I'm going to be testing with 100 milliliters of water, and I'm going to be using 10 milliliters of urine, and we'll see if we can detect anything using this test strip. So the instructions are to dip this test strip in the water uh, 30 times, or about one time every 30 seconds continuously, and I'm going to be using a timer uh, for the 30 seconds. So. Let us pour in 10 milliliters. Of, there we go. And let's start. Four, five, Six, All right, while we're counting things down seven, and dipping this eight, test strip, I'd like to kindly nine, ask you to hit the ten, like, subscribe, eight, and notification five, bell buttons. It's 13, absolutely free to subscribe 14, to this channel, and you're helping me out because 16, you're influencing 17, the algorithm, and you're letting it know that this is a good video. So it's more likely to recommend this video to other folks like you. 25, 26, 27, 28. All right, so that's 30. Let's see if we saw any changes here. No, I don't see any change. Now, let's see here. I don't really see much change in the color of of this. Slightly bluer, but, you know, I wonder if it's just because they're so it's so diluted or this really even um, adding was ostensibly a 10% increase in um, urine. And of course, urine isn't 100% urea, ureic acid. It is diluted with water. So depending on how much water I ingested prior to filling that sample, um, the actual concentration of water may be different. So let's just see, since we have this out here, and I know that this isn't technically, I'm violating the uh, testing standards here, but let's just fill in the hole. So that's 30 milliliters 
into this water supply and see if there's any additional changes in the color. Neat. And we'll just do this for like 15 seconds and see if there's any changes to that. Hmm. A little bluer. Okay, so technically, yeah, it did change color, but could I use this as a practical means to test for wastewater contamination in my water supply? Probably not. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, but I think at best this test is inconclusive since that was my goal, but you know, your goals may be different. Let's go on to our next test. Okay, this is our second test. This is a bacteria test strip, or at least a bacteria test card here. And this uh, looks like a, uh, a card that's uh, been impregnated with uh, some sort of litmus uh, type of paper. Um, what you're supposed to do is place a water sample within this, uh, these two lines here, and I'm gonna be using this metal straw as a pipette. Uh, we've got 50 milliliters of water here, and I'm going to be adding some Yakult um, beverage here and as you know Yakult has prebi is a prebiotic um, yogurt type of drink that has bacteria beneficial bacteria but bacteria nonetheless and we're gonna be adding it to this water here and this test does take 48 hours so we'll have to come back to this um, in two days and see if there's any changes but supposedly uh, this test strip will discolor if there is presence of bacteria and change color on the strip so let's get started be pouring a couple of drops. Oh, it's quite a bit more than I was intending, but that should be fine. And I'll just mix it in there. Now, let's open up this sample pouch. And be careful, it says be careful not to touch the interior of the strip. So one test, so we're going to be putting the sample in there. So I'm going to be Taking a little bit of water sample here, just to make sure, yep, and there is sufficient water, at least liquid, in there. So I'm going to be, there we go. Added it to there, I'm going to close this up, and then we're just going to place it in room temperature away from the sun and come back in 48 hours and see if there's any changes. Okay, this is our card 48 hours later and I've had it at room temperature away from direct sunlight. And as you can see here, there is some discoloring at the bottom of this test strip here. And I believe that um, designates or at least denotes that there is a presence of bacteria uh, on this sample. So yes, this does work though, not nearly as uh, pronounced as this big yellow splotches on the sample here. But yeah, you can see some discoloration on this test trip, so it does work. Okay, I'm no expert, nor do I claim that these test kits will guarantee you clean drinking water. I just wanted to see if the test strips would detect anything at all, and they did, though their practical use for an emergency situation is debatable. But if you're interested in picking them up, I'll include product links and more information on my blog at moondogindustries.com. Look for a link in this video's description. Please use those links, it helps support this channel. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell buttons. Thanks again for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.